Nemesis Reborn is complete, Nemesis Reborn is complete, and Shockwave has lost part of its name. Those two things have just happened today. But no, this is not clickbait, nor is it a Planet Coaster recreation showcase. This is true and real. Nemesis Reborn at Alton Towers is genuinely complete. And today we're going to be talking briefly and also in depth, so not briefly, all about everything released. Along with that other news about Shockwave, which is kind of sad, but at the same time we expected it for a very long time. So it's quite cool actually. And if you do enjoy these updates and you do want to see more, including the Nemesis Reborn opening day vlog, I can't wait, then please be sure to subscribe to the channel. 60,000 subscribers is so close now, which is absolutely bonkers. So if you could subscribe to help towards that, it'd be greatly appreciated. So then let's get the smaller-ish of the two news pieces out of the way first, even though it's actually still pretty big news. As you may have known, Shockwave at Drayton Manor, the stand-up roller coaster that opened in 1994, did close at the end of the 2023 season to make way for itself. Because if you didn't know, the long-term plan for the park did include that they wanted to turn Shockwave, which is this stand-up, thrilling, inversionating roller coaster, into a family sit-down roller coaster. And they have gone and done just that. The ride now has sit-down trains, as stated, and you can see them right in front of your eyes here. Wow, look at them go backwards through the layout for some reason. But either way, this concept art does look really cool. And as you can see, the trains won't be for long because my God, do they look like the Smiler trains for some reason. They'll have just as many rows as the original, if not maybe a bit less. But the best part about this sit down transformation is the fact this coaster now has lap bars. Oh, I absolutely love that except from when I realized that they also have shin guards. But in all seriousness, lap bars are going to be great. And those ride trains look very roomy. So there's going to be a lot of room to go. It'll be shockingly wavy. But that train was one important part of this brand new release. The other part was the new name. It's actually just called The Wave. And I did see that name at first and thought, really? Why? And as much as The Wave is a very simple name, I do quite like it. It fits the area and the vibe and theme of the coaster very well. And you know what? I really like it. And they've even stated that there may be a few added on ride effects. I really hope we go into the break run really harshly and suddenly it just goes Anyway, Nemesis Reborn at Alton Towers is finally complete. The finishing touches have been done on it and it is ready for opening. Yes, in a huge release this morning, Alton Towers confirmed that the finishing touches are being added to Nemesis, as I just said, and it is ready to open on the 16th of March. Let's just hope it doesn't do a wicker man and chuck it down with snow on the day. Pretty much they've released various images to go alongside this announcement and we'll go through them all, you know, because they've even put in a time-lapse video of the deconstruction and the reconstruction. A decon reconstruction time-lapse. Behold Nemesis Reborn, 45,600. has been assembled. But what can we see from this time lapse and also the photos that I'm going to show? Well, the lapse itself shows that the finished version now has light grey and black fencing all around the queue line that sort of went underneath and in the pit of the ride instead of the old brown rustic ones. The footage also shows that the cleanliness of the area and the foliage surrounding it has been cut back quite a bit, so uh, it looks a lot more new which is very nice. Some of the supports on the ride now have these fat concrete footers. And the biggest change of them all is the fact the tracks changed color. And now let's talk about some of these photos because they have some angles that we have never seen before of certain pieces that we've definitely seen before. Because you've got this beautiful photo here of that loop, the vertical loop itself. And it's being inspected or something as you can see. And to be honest, like I said, this is the first time we've seen it from this angle, from the actual queue line area, and it looks amazing. Because we can also see it from this further down queue line area as well. That just looks, oh, it looks insane. And you can see above, of course, that light gray coloring that's gone with the station that's followed through to that side as much as we couldn't really see it from inside the park, I guess. And it truly does look bulky and massive as hell. 
The nemesis creature has been hitting the gym or something. Drop the routine. We can also see another close-up photo of the bulky tail and its spikes on the back with uh, another inspection taking place, I guess. The attention to detail on that. Oh. It's just insane. How many times can I say the word insane in one video? And then something that's really interesting is one of these photos that has a lot of the workers stood together with a tentacle in their hand. Because apparently a tentacle technician is a genuine job, which I find crazy. But the tentacle that they're holding is one of the 100 meters of tentacle they have put within the ride site. Alton Towers may not be able to build 100 meters tall, but they can build 100 meters across in tentacles. But it looks very cool. One day I will be a tentacle technician. Are you excited for Nemesis Reborn and will you be visiting on the opening day? Leave your response in the comments below and make sure you subscribe 